Somehow, some way, animal farmers indirectly cause one of the most agonizing and painful deaths that they possibly can to animals, despite the fact that they already directly cause the suffering and death of billions of innocent animals. But can we really describe such an act as indirect when we're aware of the consequences of the things we do? Every year, tens of thousands of animals endure a miserable death due to barbed wire fences that are built into their natural habitats. Animals such as bats, kangaroos, birds, gliders, rabbits, deer, and wild dogs are among some of the top animals affected by these death chains. Animals endure hours, days, and possibly weeks of starvation, thirst, slow death by bleeding, heart stroke, and oral injuries by trying to bite through barbed wire metals. Animals caught in these death chains are a result of simply roaming, flying, or more intense situations such as trying to escape predators and natural disasters. Animals blinded at night are also very vulnerable to these death chains. A video by the Dodo shows a woman who found over 100 bats stuck to a barbed wire fence. But why? Because back in the day, the invention of barbed wire fences was claimed to have revolutionized farming, which it did. Joseph Glidden was the inventor of barbed wire. He created it using a coffee mill. Joseph placed the barbs along a wire and then twisted another wire around it to keep the barbs in place. He received the patent for barbed wire in 1874 and was quickly embroiled in a legal battle over whether he actually invented it. This became the new most effective way of fencing because electrical fencing was invented in 1936 as opposed to barbed wire fences which were invented in 1873. And just know that electrical fencing is just as harmful to animals. Before this, log fences were the standard for farmers. But cows could simply break through the fences, making it an issue for farmers. Because it's not as if it's in a cow's nature to roam freely without being confined until the day they are sent to the slaughterhouse to be murdered. Joseph Glidden, the inventor of barbed wire, just so happens to be a human supremacist who farmed animals and sold them as products for a living. It's to no surprise that his invention is causing the needless deaths of thousands upon thousands of wild animals. In fact, it seems the only individuals he wasn't considering when making this harmful fence was the innocent animals who dared to test the fence by attempting to move through it. Back in September of 2019, one of the biggest tragedies to ever exist began to take place, the Australia fires. It's estimated that around 3 billion animals died in this tragic event. This heartbreaking photo of a baby kangaroo has gone viral and the poor animal was burned alive in the fire. From the looks of this picture, this poor animal was suffering even before the fires got to him. The poor animal was likely very terrified and ran into the barbed wire while trying to escape the horrific fire. But the death chain simply had another plan for the poor baby. It's obvious that this animal had no chance of surviving these fires regardless of the barbed wire fencing. But I can say for a fact that the barbed wire fencing only added on to the brutality of the death. And it's likely that even if the fires didn't exist, this animal would not have survived the barbed wires. The only difference is that the suffering would have gone on a lot longer. Are barbed wire fences so deadly and cruel that even something as brutal as a blazing forest fire can be considered a merciful way to go? So now you might be thinking, how can we get rid of these death chains? These chains are a direct result of farmers keeping their animals confined so that they can raise them and sell their mutilated body parts for money. This is an indirect result of supporting animal agriculture because barbed wire fences are the standard method of fencing for animal farming. Until then, some type of legal action has to be taken to abolish barbed wire. Please share this video as far and wide as possible to spread awareness on the horrific barbed wire fences that continue to claim the lives of tens of thousands of innocent wild animals. You can simply support this video and help it reach more people by leaving a like. Be sure to comment down below of any additional information that should have been mentioned in this video.